a look back at the first two months of COVID-19. On March 1st, New York State confirmed its first case of novel coronavirus. On March 12th, the state recorded just 102 positive tests for the virus. Two weeks later, the daily total was over 7,300. It reached 10,482 on April 2nd. On April 14th, new positives reached a high of 11,571. There were 304,372 total confirmed cases of COVID-19 as of April 29th. Net new hospitalizations began climbing in March and reached 637 on March 21st. On April 2nd, net new hospitalizations reached their peak of 1,427. The one-day high for net new intubations was 351 on April 3rd. It spent a week near 300 before a sharp drop to 132 on April 5th. April 13th was the first day during the crisis that the change in intubations and hospitalizations were both negative. It meant more people were being discharged than admitted, and fewer people were going on ventilators. Both of those metrics have been negative every day since, sometimes by hundreds. On March 19th, 1,042 people were hospitalized in the state due to the coronavirus. It was the first time in the crisis that figure was over 1,000. Just two weeks later, the total was 14,810. At its worst, over 18,000 people were hospitalized due to the virus in the state for eight days straight. But it's clear looking back, that period is also when things began to turn. Hospitalizations fell below 18,000 on April 15th and began a steady decline. The total number of hospitalizations was down to 11,598 as of April 29th. The state's first death due to novel coronavirus was confirmed on March 14th. Single-day deaths reached over 100 for the first time on March 23rd, and they still haven't fallen back below that number. The climb to the peak was sharp. A little over a week after reaching 100, new deaths were already over 500, reaching 562 on April 2nd. New deaths reached a peak of 799 on April 8th. So far, they haven't gone higher than that, and a decline began soon after. Daily deaths spent over a week near or above 700 before totaling 752 on April 14th. They began dropping steadily and dipped below 400 on April 25th. The statewide death toll was 18,321 as of April 29th. Governor Andrew Cuomo has said that any move to reopen the state too soon or too fast could destroy the progress New Yorkers have made to slow the virus. He's also noted that despite the declining rate, hundreds of people are still dying daily.